Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'm doing a little bit of a how-to. Um, it's an update on a video I did a couple of years ago about cleaning pens. I cleaned a Lamy pen uh, and I just wanted to just clean a sort of standard uh, cartridge converter pen um, because there's been a little bit of sort of confusion on that video on some of my videos about that um, so I thought well why don't just I do a new one so this is not a video for people who are experienced with pens or experienced with uh, cleaning them or maintaining them this is uh, a video for beginners uh, this goes for sort of across the board with cartridge converter pens uh, and this is my way of doing it. There are many other ways and lots of videos on how to do it. Uh, I just thought I'd show my way. Occasionally, uh, people who are new to the hobby or that I've either introduced or found me on YouTube ask me about cleaning their pens. Uh, and I thought, well, what I'll do is I'll clean here this pen today, uh, which is the Stipula Etruria Gorilla version, which is a cartridge converter pen. So I'll clean that, show you my process, uh, and you can, if you're new to the hobby and want to be able to do this yourself, um, hopefully learn how to maintain or clean your pens between inkings. Now, how often do you need to clean a pen? Well, that's totally up to you. I tend to swap out my inks, so I clean it after I've finished with an ink in the pen. Uh, sometimes that means flushing a bit of ink out uh, if I've decided that I don't want to use that ink anymore. Uh, but if you're using the same ink again and again, I think it's generally fairly good to clean your pen, just this sort of manner of cleaning. Every four or five fills, the thing is you are going to be, you know, getting fibers from paper in the nib, there'll be dust and all that sort of thing, and ink does dry up and there are, so, you know, there is there is things in the, the nib and the feed that can be moved out. Of course, more regularly if you're using things like shimmer inks or high sheening inks, things like that, that have uh, different properties to it, particularly shimmer inks with particles, uh, you want to really flush those out as regularly as you can, really, uh, and certainly not use them in a pen that you're worried about cleaning or that is difficult to clean. Uh, so yeah, a pen you can take apart completely, which is why things like the Twisby pens are actually pretty good for shimmer inks, uh, because you can really disassemble them uh, and clean them thoroughly and put them back together without too much trouble. With a standard pen like this, there are a couple of things you're going to want. You're going to want water. Now this is just a basic clean. You can get pen flushes, you can get all sorts of things to do this. This is a basic run of your mill, run of the mill clean. So you need some water. Um, I have here two plastic cups of water, uh, which I use, I use those cups again and again and again. Uh, I also have here a bulb syringe or an ear syringe or whatever you want to call it, um, used for cleaning parts of the body, things out of things, uh, that, all that sort of stuff. Uh, so I use, we use one of these. Then you just want some paper towel and something like a cup or a glass that you can um, use to dry the pen in or a rack this is just a basic most people have something a cup or a mug lying around okay so yeah I'll change angle so you can see more clearly and then we can uh, see how I clean the pen uh, and yeah if you've got any comments or anything chuck them in uh, below this video if you've got particular ways you clean your pens or if you've got any questions or if you find these how-to videos useful let me know anyway I'll see you later so here we have uh, the Stipula Etruria Gorilla. Now this is a cartridge converter pen, so it is your standard, it's not the piston version uh, of this, so it does have a standard cartridge converter. So you can use, you can clean any cartridge converter pen in this manner, and uh, it just depends on how you want to actually flush it out. And as I said, I use one of these, a bulb syringe. Um, but anyway, let's get started. So once you've taken the pen apart like that, what I tend to do first is flush the cap. Now, you carry these pens around in your pocket, ink is gonna come out of the nib, uh, it can be shaken out, just drops. You're not, we're not talking a lot of ink. Uh, if you've got a lot of ink pooling in your cap, you might wanna look at the pen and see why. Um, but in terms of just sort of standard everyday carrying, you will get some uh, ink in the cap on a lot of pens. So what I do is I f just fill the lid with water uh, and put my finger over the edge, shake it up a bit and dump it out. Now there will be a little bit of running water in this video, so I'm sorry for the sound, uh, but you'll, um, yes, it's sort of needed just for this aspect of it. So here I have the pen cap. Let's fill it with water. And I shake it. And dump it. Repeat that process a couple of times. Now this particular cap is leaking, there must be a seal issue around the, uh, the, the uh, clip there. 
but now the water's running clear from that, so that is more or less going to be clean. Okay, we can stop the water running now, and I'll just quickly dab that up. Okay, so the next step now that that cap uh, is clean is uh, to clean the converter and the nib. Now, you can draw water up through the nib into the converter, flush it out repeatedly, and that will do the same, more or less the same thing. What I tend to do is I tend to separate them, and I fill the, I take one of these cups of water, and I fill the converter, and flush it, repeat this process a few times. You will get a bit of ink in the water here, that's okay. Um, because for the final flush you're going to use the clean water from the second cup Which is also what you're going to use for the nib So once this has started to run clear in the barrel One thing I tend to do is once again is just fill it part way uh, Get all the water down to one end Just give it a shake as you can see a lot more sort of ink was sort of um, caught up Sort of in the mechanism and all of that so it gives that a bit of a flush Continue this process until the water looks you know, pretty much clear, and you can see there it's starting to look pretty clear now. And then I take the clean water cup and I fill it up, and yeah, we've got basically clear water now. So that converter is clean. Sit that on some paper towel. Then I take the nib. Now, there's a, generally going to be quite a bit of uh, water kept, uh, ink, sorry, stores it in the nib in the feed, whether it's dried or not. Uh, so you do need to give this a pretty good flush. Now, you can soak the nib, you can, all of that, you know, in the feed overnight. If you've got a pen that's been dirty for a while or the ink is completely dried, that's a handy thing to do is to soak the nib. Uh, you can also use ultrasonic cleaners and things like that. But for a standard clean like this, just that one, once the pen has run out or you want to change ink or whatever, a simple bulb syringe like this does a great job. Now, not all sections are made the same. Obviously, they're different shapes, proprietary brands use different uh, converters and things like that. So not every pen is gonna fit uh, one of these. So, but what's great about them is that once you have a, if you have a particular pen you wanna clean, you can cut these down uh, to be the right sort of size. I find with most standard international converters that this fits perfectly around where it's sort of gotta go in the uh, nib section there. So simple thing is to fill this up with water from that cup. Now this can take a couple of flushes. This should only take one. <clears throat> if you're using uh, shimmer inks or anything like that, I suggest you do a couple. So basically I have put the nib section over the end of the bulb syringe and then I return it to the sink, as you can see here up in the top corner. Uh, and then I just push the water through the converter. Now you can see there that colored water is sort of coming out. It's the ink being flushed from the uh, nib section and the feed. Sometimes what I do is I'll stop sort of halfway and then re-agitate that. Now this might actually take a couple of flushes by the looks of this. Is, um, this is quite a saturated uh, ink. Uh, and the flow on this pen is not the, the, great, the best. So a pen with really good flow, uh, where the feed uh, has wide channels and things like that, will actually flush easier because it's easier to move the water through it. Um, but as you can see here, I'm still getting quite a lot of color out of this. So I will do a second flush through. And by then we should be just about clear, I think. Yeah. It's good to make sure you do get the pen clean, particularly if you're changing inks. A small amount of ink left in the pen uh, isn't going to affect, uh, like from a flush like this, isn't going to affect too much. Um, and especially as, you, as we're going to wick uh, the pen after this anyway. Uh, but uh, some inks do not uh, react well with other inks, so if you're changing ink, it is good uh, to flush the pen uh, like this between inking. Uh, and as I said, even if you're using the same ink, I'm just going to give this one more little run through. Um, between, uh, even if you're using the same ink, every few fills, it's good to sort of really clean the pen. Uh, you'll be able to use the pen, it'll survive longer, it'll work nicer longer. Um, yeah, as you can see now, this is basically sort of running clear. There's always going to be a little bit of ink left in there, uh, which is why we do the next stage uh, of this. Um, Alright. I think I 
I'll call it there. So, now the beauty of using something like the bulb syringe is that this holds, I think, 60 mils. So when, if you're flushing through a converter which holds less than a mil, you're having to do a lot of sort of drawing in and drawing out. You know, for one fill of this, it's, well, dozens really, uh, you know, of sort of in and out, in and out, sort of to get that much water through the pen. So this is now basically clean, clean, sort of definitely clean enough uh, now to be re-inked. So what I do is I re-put the converter in, then I take, this glass that I have here. Now I like this glass because it looks sort of like it's got an ink swirl in it. It was just from like a, a, two, a $2 sh shop, um, Daiso, if you're familiar with it. Um, and what I do is I get some paper towels, scrunch it up, put it in the bottom of the glass. Uh, now I have a, a rack that I use for this when I do multiple cleanings and I've lined that with paper towel and it does the same thing. So what you do is then you take the, the, the nib section with the converter attached, place it down, nib down into that paper towel and what that paper towel will do is that will wick out any of the remaining uh, moisture and ink uh, that is in the pen still after it's been cleaned. And leave that overnight, leave this cap at, you know, at least overnight. You really wanna make sure these are really thoroughly dried out. Uh, you don't want any moisture left in once you seal it. These have metal components inside, as I said, the, the clip comes through into there, there can be screws, uh, lots of little bits and pieces. You don't want water more kept up in there. So it's really good for everything to be thoroughly dry before you pack it away uh, or cap it again. So leave these things overnight, leave it for a couple of days if you want, and then uh, you'll have yourself a nice clean cartridge converter pen. So that was uh, me cleaning a cartridge converter pen. Uh, that, so that is my method. There are many, many other ways you can do it. You don't need the bulb syringe, for instance. You can't, there are ways you can just sort of flush the, the nib using the converter and all those sorts of things. This is the way I do it. It's quick, it's easy, uh, and you can get you know, these at your local chemist or some supermarkets and things like that. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. And please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below, Instagram and Twitter, etc. I am at the underscore offstage underscore me. I'd love to see what you're doing over there. But if you've got products you think I should be looking at, or if you've got questions, or if you've got videos you'd like to see me make, let me know. If there are ways you think you can support this channel, uh, please get in touch and let's see what we can do. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and... I'll talk to you later.